There are times when we feel we are really not welcome on this island by any of the authorities. We have made several attempts to contact various officials and our attempts have been met with deaf ears. We are really beginning to wonder what the problem is on the island and to say the least about all of this, we do not feel safe here at all. What a sad situation after we have given up our home and belongings in Canada to come to the island of our dreams and be met with all this sadness. We were looking so forward this summer to family and friends visiting us. There were six couples coming to Aruba and have now cancelled and are going to Aruba in, or going to Cuba instead. It is to the point now that my family in Canada is so concerned about the situation here that they are spreading the news throughout the news media in Canada about the way we are living and the life of hell. I have to be honest to say here that I can totally 100% feel the frustration that Natalie Holloway's mother must have felt at the time of her disappearance if she received the type of treatment that we have from some of the police officers, and again, let me be clear, not all of them, then I can totally understand where she was coming from. Both myself and my husband have only been here for one year, but we very much love the island. Aruba has so much to offer to both tourists and those people who wish to come to live. It is most unfortunate that a few bad apples can spoil the whole barrel. It is really a crime that all these, that these certain individuals have caused so much shame and humiliation to their fellow Arubians. At this time, I'd also like to say that we have had several meetings with Mr. Nicholas at FCCA, and I believe one meeting with Mr. Lace, several um, uh, with some of the social workers. All documents and all reports have been definitely given to FCCA, although Mr. Lace has denied having any reports during, during his interview on the television. They have admitted that they know the neighbors in the area are afraid to talk. They know there is a big problem in this Bonero home. They have also admitted to us. Um, they have also admitted to us that we are not uh, the only ones making complaints over the years. But for some unknown reason, beyond my comprehension, they do nothing. Mr. Nicholas is more than well aware of these meetings that we've had at FCCA. We've had witnesses with us, and again, they're denying it. As long as people on this island live in fear, the fear will never go away. I am not a martyr, but I refuse to be their victim. We are human beings and we deserve to live our lives in a peaceful manner and not to be terrorized by the likes of people like this. There is no way in any word to describe how we have lived in this past year. But I do ask all officials on the island who are in charge of taking control of the issues, would you allow this to happen to your family? I doubt it very much. So I'm asking you, why are you allowing this to happen to us?